Unity. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. My name is Rap Q. This is Rap on Point, and as y'all can see, we are about to get into a game called Scorch. I found this game on Steam, and I will leave a link in the description in case you want to try it out. And I think this game is about us being a detective that needs to solve a crime. Can we do it? I don't know, so let's see if we can. So if y'all dig it and y'all with it, let's go. Damn, we got that loading. All right. How y'all doing today? Y'all straight? Y'all chilling? Dope. Then we got a little cutscene. Oh. Good morning, Gary. Hey, Chief. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Sounds like you're sober this time around. At least you're not slurring like last week. Yeah, what? well, what happened last week was quite unfortunate. But at least the party was amazing, huh? Very funny, Gary. Listen, you know that this case is your last chance to prove yourself. Hmm, sure. So, what happened here? A man, Mike Hill, was found burned to death in his shed. We want you to take a look at the crime scene. Hmm, yeah. I know it's not easy to solve this case in one day. We're but gonna you've do done it. it before. I believe in you, so don't disappoint me. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay, so we in the game, right? We good? We recording? All right, so let's solve this crime. Chulatin Hills. That's the crime scene Chief Gonzalez mentioned earlier this morning. Chulatin Hills? Ch Chulatin? All right, Chulatin Hills and... Millican Way. More like I really can't go that way. <sighs> no. Uh, hold up, y'all. Let me put subtitles. Should we put music? Nah, because I don't know if it's a whatchamacallit. Copyright or anything. Uh, nah, we should be straight. Let's get back into the game. So, I like how nature just popping up in front of us as we walk through the forest. Alright, so I see a bench. What's on a bench? A note? Anything in the trash? Nada? Alright, what's this? It says, Beaverton Call, Forest Ranger perished in deadly fire. Beaverton citizens in turmoil again. Mike Hill, 43, a Forest Ranger in Ch Chilliton? Chilliton, H Chilliton Hills National Park, died in a terrible fire yesterday evening. Hill's body was found inside a s small shed near his own Forest Ranger cabin. The local officials suspect murder. Oh, suspect murder. Yesterday at 4 p.m., a nearby jogger reported seeing smoke and called the fire department. Soon after, the local police department was also alarmed. The local police is currently investigating this tragic event. Who or what has caused the fire? Officials suspect that it may have been murder, but it is too soon to say. One police detective is looking into this. I believe that's us. A similar fire happened 30 years ago. The Parker family perished and only the youngest child, Jay Parker, survived. The, corporate, the culprit was never found. Has the same person struck again? Our condolences go out to the Hills family and friend. It seems that someone has forgotten today's newspaper here. That's today's newspaper? And this is the inventory? Uh, oh, hey, state of Oregon, Gary Price, date of birth. All right, for sure. Yeah, let's continue going. All right, so I see where the where the fire happened. Why no no yellow tape? You feel me? There was a murder. Wouldn't you think there'll be some yellow tape, some caution tape? A gasoline can, and it's almost empty. Yikes. The game looks nice. I like it. I give it that. I guess it's a... Like, small? A small game and kind of glitchy? I don't know. But it looks nice. What's this? Beaverton, Ranger Station, Chulatin... National Forest. What's this? 
X. It's it's a sharp X. So we have a gas station. Okay. Well, can we not go in? What? Yo, can I go in? That was weird. Hey, what happened to the doors? Okay. What? Anyway. What's up with the doors? Is that going to be a problem? Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Sure. Your location. So we're here right now. Oh, rifle. Can we take that? No? Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Is everything going to open slowly? That's not cool. What's this? I wonder what led the victim to take antidepressants. Oh, snap. Nice. The lights work. Um, anything else I can take or interact with? Uh, I don't know if I should open that. I'll just leave it closed right now. Ellie. Ah, okay. So there's a chick involved here. It wasn't just Mike. Who's Ellie? You know what, you guys? I'm going to restart the game because it's moving slow. So I'll be back, all right? All right, y'all. So I'm back. And let's see how this goes. So the doors are meant to open at slow. You was bugging, bro. Really? Alright, I guess, but that's bugging. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody got time for this. Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Sure it will. So let's pick this up then. I wonder what led the victim to take out. Why did Mike need them? Because he was depressed. Alright, this fully open. Hmm. You have three new messages. Hey Mike, how are you? I know that you saw us. I was just wondering if we could talk. Just don't do anything rushed. What? Please. Jason, Jason. From Mountainside High School. Do you remember me? It's been forever. Anyway, I just wanted to see how you are. Maybe I could swing by tomorrow. Mike, it's me again. You better not soup around anymore. You won't find out anything anyways. Just keep to yourself, Phil. I've got a lot to lose here. What? That's interesting. From Jason for Mike? An action figure. Yeah, that's kind of odd. What's this? Hmm, cytoxin. Isn't that some kind of chemotherapy pill? Cancer? Hmm. Matches. Why is there a matchbox lying here? Lights on. Can I turn on the TV? That's dope. Um. Oh, these drawers are gonna take their time, huh? Okay. Was that a key? That's a key? Well, look what I found here. A key. Okay. Oh, this is a killer. Nothing in there. What's in there? Let's open all this. 
Anything of use? No. Mm, Wait, what? Yummy. Bro, you don't even know how long that lasagna was in there. Nasty ass. Anything in the trash? No? No, okay. Uh, what's down here? Wait, what? Is that beer? Nah, you tripping, son. You, you're on a job, homie. Let's close that up. You're about to be slurring on the phone when we talk to what's your face. No. No. Uh, what's this? Alright, anything else? What's up here? I can't jump. Can I grab that? Cho slow ass, open up! Por favor! Nothing? Let's open uh, the door. So with these doors, man. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Don't move it. Slow motion for me. What is this? High school. Another action figure? And this one looks broken. What? Broken action Man, figure. This oh. thing is ancient. What do you want, girl? Yeah, what's up, darling? Watch your tongue. <laughs> You're on thin ice, Price. Anyway, Price. we just got the autopsy report. Are you listening? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Hill's body was doused in gasoline from head to toe. We know he was burned alive because we found carbon monoxide in his lungs. Forensics identified a wound on his head, which presumably rendered him unconscious. Hmm, okay. Anything else? He'll have traces of antidepressant medication in his system. Okay. Right, that's good to know. And what was the last thing he consumed? Nothing special. Lasagna and coffee. We just ate the lasagna. Interesting. Well, I better get going. Solving crimes and stuff. I would hope so. Shut up! Obituaries. David and Jane Parker. Funeral services for David and Jane Parker were held November 4, 1987 at in Beaverton Chapel. Mr. and Mrs. Parker were born May 2, 1955 and December 1956, respectively. They both passed away in a tragic house fire. David and Jane are sur survived by their parents, three siblings, and their 13-year-old son, Jason Parker. David and Jane are, are survived by their parents, three siblings. I didn't want this. Jay Parker! Jason! Well, why did Mike keep this? I'm confused. Does it have to do something with Jason? Mountainside High School. This is where Jason talking about. Do you remember me? Twenty-five year reunion coming. Now, why would Mike put this in the bin? Maybe Mike and Jason had like a high school feud. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll just go with that. You lie! Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. You lie! Well, I got in. Um, all right, so I couldn't reach you on the phone. First off, let me remind me of your position. I could fire you anytime. Don't do anything rash. You should consider your options. This isn't as simple as you think. This is none of your business, but you should know that I never hurt anyone. Susan. Susan Baker. 
Hi, Mike. I just wanted to remind you that we changed schedules. Your turn on the watchtower is on Saturdays now. Please don't forget like you did last time. Just a heads up, Susan. Hey, Mike. It's Jessica again. We missed you at the party. Well, maybe we'll see you next time. Jason seemed like he wanted to tell you something. Anyways, I attached a photo of us. Hope you're well, Jessica. Hmm. Baker, Jason Parker. Our name is uh the dude that died's name is Mike Hill. What? Hi, hey Mike. Just wanted to inform you that it's time to get rid of that old rifle of yours. I know you've become quite attached, just the two of you and all. But it's really time to get a new one. Regulations and all. Don't set the forest on fire. October 6th, save the date, former students, we're all getting together for a reunion, Mike. I hope you've been doing well in your little hut up there. Jason will be there too. Maybe the two of you could finally make amends. Anyway, I hope you're well. Available for a limited time, this lunchbox is out of this world. Sturdy. Huh? I'm kind of lost. Something happened between, it seems to be from Mike's therapist. Now what is this? Some sort of secret password? For the computer knows right there to one, two, three, four. That's funny. Um. Wait, is that it? That's all I could do here? Wait, can I open this? Oh, that's the, the computer. Just, ooh. Oh, I forgot. Damn. Wait, what? You're gonna regret this. Something happened between Mike and Jason Parker. Mike Hill and Jason Parker. This looks Parker. like an old high school memory. Okay. Hmm. Anything else? Why are the drawers so slow? Am I missing anything else? No, right? Just close. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce. That's tight. Lock open these up. Damn. All right. Anything of use? No? Are you sure? Don't play me like this, man. Slow as drawers. Man. Is that a stapler? Do I need it? I don't think so. Please hurry up. I'm about to go and check outside real quick. Alright, I know I'm missing something. I have to be missing something. I don't see this How before. This base break? And why is it still lying here? Now, I hope I don't waste my time with this. Broken... You see, I didn't see that before. Hmm. I think it's time for us to go outside. I don't think I'm missing anything else, right? Anything with the boxes? Nah? Alright, let's bounce. Wait, anything else in the restroom? Oh, I forgot. Screw that. Hmm. I'm tripping out. Alright. 
Hey, birdie. Birdie. Uh. I wonder. What did he observe with those? Binoculars? Wait, can I use it? What's this business card? Binoculars, a broken toy, a new toy. Matches to go with the gasoline. This could be a potential weapon. We have a, uh, he had what, cancer? He was depressed. And it's, I don't even know you guys. Um, what's this? Your watch tire. Susan inspecting my area. Again, she bought a bigger bag and uglier. Susan shot it at me again. Couple taking morning walk. Susan inspecting again. Overslept. Sorry, gonna make an extra long shift. What's Susan doing at night in my section? How to look? Why is there a mushroom plantation I've never seen before? What? First school week equals school children dropping garbage everywhere. So much cleaning to do. Susan inspects my area again. She's collecting those weird mushrooms. I think she's seeing me as well. She didn't come to shout at me. Suspicious. Hmm. Mike wrote down everything he observed. What? I'm lost, you guys. What's over here? Are these the mushrooms? What? Maybe we should notify the drug enforcement. Mushrooms. What? Notify the drug enforcement administration. Now, what does that have to do with anything? Oh. What's up? Price. Haven't heard from you in a while. I'm working. Everything under control here. Yeah. Right. It seems like you're having trouble getting on your feet. What? I stuck my neck out for you. You could at so. least try. That was a one-time thing, Gonzalez. I'm working. Why can't you just let it go? Because it's not right. You have responsibilities, Price. You can't come to work drunk and expect everything to be okay. Look. I... I was supposed to fire you immediately, but I respect you, Price. Yeah. You're a good officer. Mm -hmm. So please don't make me regret my decision. All right. Okay. Just let me go do my job. Thank you. Sheesh. Oh, wait. What was I doing? Is there anything else for me to do? What's that? Que es eso? Oh, the birdies. Yeah, I'm really getting lost here. I better return back to the path. Oh, okay. So let me just run through everything real quick, see if I didn't miss anything, and uh, y'all yeah, know the biz. So this is it, the mushrooms. No more. Okay. We go back to the path. I feel like I already checked everything in a, in a what do you call it, in the cabin. I mean... I just want to listen to the to the voicemail real quick and hold on. Let me check in the back real quick. Anything back here? No. Those books? I was gonna say. Tripping. All right. Yeah. Let me see. You have three new messages. Hey, Mike. How are you? I know that you saw us. Who's I'm us? Just wondering if we could talk. Just don't do anything rushed. Susan. Hello, Michael. But who's Ellie? It's Jason from Mountainside High School. Do you remember me? I think we beef it, bro. Forever. Anyway, I just wanted to see how you are. Maybe I could swing by tomorrow. Mike, it's me again. You better not snoop around anymore. You won't find out anything, anyways. Just keep to yourself, Phil. I've got a lot to lose here. So she was probably planting illegal mushrooms.
What else do I have to do? Now what is this? Some sort of secret password? Yo, I don't know what else to do. I think these coffee mugs were just recently used. Oh, so I had to collect the coffee. Call Gonzalez from your phone when you're ready. Okay, let's do that. Have you found... Have you found all the evidence? Do you know how Mike died? Do you know the murderer's name? Did you uncover the past? Once you call, there's no going back. Are you ready? Let's Barry, give it a try. I think I've got the crime solved. Are you sure? If you accuse the wrong person, there is no going back. Yes, I'm sure. I know who killed Mike Hill. It was Jason. Then let's hear it. First question. Did you find out how Mike died? Yeah. It was... He was hit with this. Then doused with this. Then set on flames. Okay, I see. But what happened in the hours before the murder? Hmm. Before the murders, he... I want to say... He took his pills with coffee before he went to work, right? I'm not convinced yet. Who do you suspect to be the murderer? What's his name? Uh, Jason, oh, Jason Parker. Let me see. So, some in the past, huh? I want to say, I want to say these two. Actually, hold up. Yeah, I think Jason might have like broken his toy or something, punked him for it. I don't I know. I think there's more to it. What did you find out about the murderer's past? The murderer's past. Uh, okay. I'll put the obituary in a newspaper. Seems like there's something here. But there's still something missing. But come back to the police station first. We'll have a closer look into it. Okay. Wait, did I do a good job? Go back to the police station? Alright. I don't know if I did good, you guys. <laughs> I hope I did. I'm not. Uh, yeah. I'm still kind of lost with Susan and the whole mushrooms. And. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Or does it end like that? Oh. Listen, Chief. I really didn't want to do it. I had my reasons. I mean, yeah, sure, I picked on him at school, but that was just teasing. It's not the same thing as losing your family. You know? I took therapy for years. I learned to cope. But then I got cancer. It's like I'm being punished for something. At least that's how I felt. Oh. I thought about my past and remembered the kid I bullied in school. I figured I'd make amends. So I came by and gave him a visit. When he brought it up, I just knew. After all these years, it was him. 
I just lost it. I couldn't think straight anymore. It was like I was in a trance. Okay. So, I picked up a vase, and I kept hitting him, and hitting him until he was lying on Told the floor. You. Once I'd realized what I'd done, I decided to destroy the evidence. I took his body to the shed and set it on fire. Damn. I regret it now. Out of everyone, I should know best that death is permanent. He found 17 pieces of evidence. Question score 4 out of 5. A. Hey! For sure. Good work today, Detective Price. You've really proven yourself. I'll see you at work tomorrow morning. Oh! Hell yeah! I will leave a link in the description for you guys to try this game out and I yeah there's like a B plus so yeah if you guys enjoyed please leave a like share and subscribe click that bell to get notified and updated to all my videos so you can get to know this guy stay blessed stay safe and always rap on point I'll see you on the next one I right? yeah yeah. <laughs> I do it for the why, why I do it for the grind, why I do it for the mind, I do it for the shine, I do it for my fam, living above, but most of all, I do it for the love, I do it for the why, why I do it for the grind, why I do it for the mind, I do it for the shine, I do it for my fam, living above, but most of all, I do it for the love.